ओके स्टूडेंट्स सुनाओ आई एम विद डॉक्टर अंकित दुबे ही इज फ्रॉम आई आई टी जम्मू ओके एंड आई विल ट्राई टू नो अबाउट हिज रिसर्च एक्टिविटीज एंड हिज प्रोजेक्ट ही इज गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट हियर इन दिस इवेंट सो सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन फ्रॉम योर साइड Okay, so I am Ankit Dubey. I am from Department of Electrical Engineering, and my uh, area of research is communication IoT. And I started working on resource monitoring side as well. Okay. So basically, there are lots of resources like electricity, water, energy, and these resources are to be monitored because if you want to get some information, if you want to optimize the Uh, uses yes. then first of all you need to collect data so there are what we have find out is there are uh, mechanism to measure but there is no mechanism to collect the data at the one location and then find out the inference out of the data so that was the our major you can say focus so once you have the data then you can do the analytics and once you have done the analytics then you can optimize your performance and you can bring down the cost you can improve the carbon footprint and overall you can say we are going towards the green environment okay. so how you are collecting that dot data that is okay. so much important so basically there are lots of oems who uh, gives you uh, different kinds of uh, meters oems But means manufacturing companies, manufacturing companies. Okay. okay and then what happens is you have different oems and there let, let's say there is a lnt meter there is a meter from uh, different vendor snider and other thing but they have a platform where the data goes to their server and you are only able to measure the data from their server that's it okay so you can extract that yes so what we have developed is it's oem independent like you buy any meter or let's say your institute or let's say your organization already have some meters okay then our device we have a single rtu that we have developed okay, that rtu collect, yes so uh, rtu stands for remote terminal remote terminal, terminal unit terminal so unit okay yes. so basically this unit can communicate to 250 other meters okay. let it be water meter let it be electricity meter let it be any meter so okay. it can so this one can uh, yes. monitor different meters yes different resources can be monitored using single device okay. and this device will collect the data and it will store at one location and then you can have the uh, you can do lots of analytics out of that so that okay is. so it means this is related to data science also yes we can relate yes. this yes. data science. so we have a mechanism through which we can predict in future how much water we are going to consume how much electricity we are going to consume and then you can just Uh, do the optimization out of it. okay so uh, who are the customers actually you will you are going to collect the data okay okay so, so who is the end user from where we are getting this data to add one so, more thing yes. it's not yeah. only limited to collection only okay. you can actually control the infrastructure also let's say you want to uh, turn off some sort of ess panel you want to turn off some facility you want to turn off some plant some machinery anything so this same device can do that kind of job also so that's why the customers are any kind of big institutions let's say or maybe uh, colleges hospitals airports malls societies yes every big facility as well as the smaller industries also like manufacturing industries and everywhere so the customers are like endless possibilities are there so okay so uh, you said that uh, you, earlier you were working in communication okay. okay but now you are working this is a source monitor so basically this is one of the applications you can think of okay like earlier we used to set up a device which is simply communicating from one node to another node then we thought of is there any possibility we can monitor the electricity so we started with the electricity monitoring so they are my btech student so what they did is they designed a electricity meter they collected data they pushed it to cloud and then what happened is they realized there is a huge market potential and they can convert it as a product and not only electricity we can monitor water gases as i said and there are lots of things like we can monitor so, sewage treatment uh, plant as well up, uh, have you commercialized it up to now or you are waiting for different industries to come with you uh, so basically i think kuldeep can answer yeah that. okay so so uh, kuldeep you are from mtech or pno i did my btech uh, i i passed my btech okay you completed yeah, btech yeah, completed my btech in 2020 okay and, uh, i was a student actually basically so okay so right now what you are doing so now i'm just like we are just working on this startup 
this is a startup we have registered it everything we have customers also real okay. customer it is one of the customers yeah so your startup is in it jammu itself or somewhere else so we have registered it in uttar pradesh but uh, where uh, yeah but our startup is incubated by i3c iit jammu it's a incubation uh, yeah so we all know that in different it we have incubation center and they are working very well uh, for the development of the nation because many students even after completing their uh, btech degrees they are going in, into the field of startups yes. and different iits are supporting their students so this is one example the yeah, itc iit jammu actually provides good resources good mentorship everything whatever a startup need actually anything okay. so that's a good idea so now uh, what are your future plans so for, uh, first we have already iit jammu as a customer so we are executing there we will once we are successfully executing mean, we will successfully execute there we will get uh, certifications and all sort of recommendation then we will go out in the market also we will look for other customers like malls airports those kind of things also so our plan is to expand and uh, reach out to as many customers as possible okay so how you are going to do that activity so as of now we have identified certain potential customers mm. and we are reaching them online offline through any medium whatever is possible and we are uh, like uh, fixing some meetings and doing talk with them and so that that's how we are starting but, uh, some other ways is like it jammu incubation center also help us to connect with various other companies and uh, okay. various other collaborators also or investors and all all those kind of uh, things so uh, those in this list uh who want to uh utilize the work done by uh, mr kuldeep and uh, professor ankit dube sir okay so those may contact uh, id jammu in electrical department and uh, they can also tell their requirements if they want some um, modification uh, any upgrade is anything okay so industries must make a contact with different it's they must send their requirements always okay and that will definitely uh, just contact us we will reach out to reach back yeah. to you and uh, so basically okay. we are using machine learning techn techniques as well to do the prediction and all so basically uh, we have very good team so kuldeep works on front uh, back end and then we have Sunday. so he is from yeah. machine learning profile anyone here uh, one team member is missing okay so he just got so which, with the which brain, algorithm so. of machine learning uh, you are you have so, used here reinforcement learning and uh, okay. there is lstm so both we are using so reinforcement mostly whenever any student uh, go to study machine learning they mainly focus on supervised and unsupervised but reinforcement learning is also important yes for the implementation so of different projects one of projects. the latest thing which is going in the industry yeah okay so sir uh, now for our students also okay student community uh, if some student want to join iit jammu electrical department yes sir. and he want to study under your guidance okay so uh, what on uh, what areas he must be good in okay so basically i'll my suggestion for the students would be like you work on your fundamentals once your fundamentals are clear then you can pick up any area so if you have very good in uh, you are good in mathematics if you are good in uh, solving let's say uh, system of equations okay then what you can do is you can pick up the problems easily and then you can apply this and you can come up with a solution so there is no specific uh, thing i'll say ki you should learn wireless communication or you should know digital communication i would say you clear your fundamentals once your fundamentals are clear then you can pick up any area okay so it was very a uh, nice meeting with you sir thank, thank you. you very much thank and you. we will uh, send this message to different uh, students in the in this list so that everyone uh, everyone can get benefit yes thank okay. you thank you so much